Alright guys, we're going to do the fourth problem of the book Statics Chapter 1 by Hibbler, 13th edition. Represent each of the following combinations of units in the correct SI form <coughs> using the appropriate prefix. So for part A, we got meters per millisecond. Now meters is already with no prefix, so it's 10 to the 0 milliseconds is 10 to the negative 3 seconds M stands for milli which is 10 to the negative 3 this would make it 10 to the third because 0 minus minus 3 is 3 meters per second or kilometers per second because K stands for kilo which stands for 10 to the third. Let's go to part B now. Part B is micro kilometers. Hopefully you'll never see this, this makes no sense, but <laughs> micro is 10 to the negative 6. The U stands for micro, which is 10 to the negative 6. And the K, like we said before, stands for 10 to the third. So 10 to the negative 6 times 10 to the third meters which would make it 10 to the negative 3 meters or millimeters because M stands for milli which is 10 to the negative 3 part C kiloseconds per milligram now this one has a little trick to it Remember, grams is not an SI unit. You're looking for kilograms. So, kilo stands for 10 to the third seconds over. Milli stands for 10 to the negative 3. But you want, you want it in kilograms. So, you got to put another 10 to the negative 3. Because, you know, 1 gram is 10 to the negative 3 kilograms. So, that would be 3 minus minus 6, which is 10 to the 9 seconds per kilogram, which will make it M, no, not M, sorry, G, gigaseconds per kilogram, because G stands for giga which is 10 to the 9 part D kilometers times micro newtons which is 10 to the third for ki kilo and use micro which will be 10 to the negative 6 which will be 10 to the negative 3 because 3 minus 6 is negative 3 meter newtons or millimeters per newton or millinewtons per meter <laughs> could be both for more solutions on this book go to daxterrebels.com slash statics